Hello everyone, welcome back to all of you in the Smelly Army. So today we're going to be having a look at three fragrances from the house of Alexandria Fragrances. Before we do that, I have to make my money somehow, so I'll be right back after these messages. For a perfect summer's day, everything's got to be right. The sea. The company. And the view. And what better sight than the clear gold of a Hofmeister lager? Over the sea and the wind in your hair. If you want black lager, follow the band. This is High Karate. And this unsuspecting girl is about to catch its irresistible scent. The High Karate scent that can turn a usually docile woman into a ravenous creature. Oh, look out, mate! Oh, oh, shit! Oh. A scent so irresistible that every pack of High Karate carries essential instructions on self-defense. High Karate aftershave. Be careful how you use it. By the way, everyone, I will think of a new intro joke soon. I've just been enjoying putting these old adverts in, but uh, I'll come up with something more original for the next video. Hello, welcome back, everybody. So three fragrances from Alexandria today, and the first one smells similar, I think it's fair to say, to Office for Men by Jeremy Fragrance, although the company do not market it uh, as linked in any way to that fragrance. The big thing that you should know before I get stuck into the rest of the video is that Alexandria UK, that's the, the website for people buying in the UK, have a great Black Friday sale, which is still continuing today, Saturday, when I'm uploading this video. And with the code BLACK25, you can get 25% off everything on the website, which makes them, I mean, they're already arguably very good value considering the quality of the scents. Now with that code, I mean, it's a quarter off, fantastic value. So I'll put a link in the description to the website. And I would say, to, you know, this is a great time to buy those fragrances. The sale, I think, only runs up until midnight on Saturday, UK, the end of Saturday, i.e. UK time. So get stuck in there quickly if, if you're interested. Loads of really good ones that I've reviewed in the past. Hafez 1984, Zion is a really, really popular clone of uh, Elysium from Roger Dove. They have some absolute crackers. Casanova, I love that their version of Roger Parfum's Midsummer Night's Dream. So good, go and check them out. Anyway, new ones today then. Somebody had to do it, of course. Office for Men by Jeremy Fragrance. Very popular, very fresh fragrance. And Alexandria now bring us this one. Loving the new packaging and boxes that you get uh, the, uh, from Alexandria UK at the moment. So you get these kind of very high quality, good, you can't really make out the, the, the feel here, but a very smooth, kind of silky, quite, you know, not cheap feeling box we get now. And a little fitted snazzy thing there and the bottles nowadays looking really really good i like the lids and they're now very similar there was a slight difference at one point between the uk and usa versions but uh, they're very very similar now i think whether you buy in the usa or uk so uh, of course i'll put the link to the usa website as well looking on there today they had a code for 10 percent off that you can see if you go to the usa website so of course the, the fragrance is available pretty much worldwide boardroom then cheeky isn't it a bit naughty no, not really. Um, let's uh, talk about this one. The big question is then how close did they get to Office for Men in smell and how much does it cost and should you buy it instead? Well, the cost for Office for Men keeps changing. I can't keep up. It's quite an expensive fragrance. Sometimes he does two for one offer, so it keeps moving around, but it's it's never really a really cheap fragrance. Boardroom is available at the moment, just in this one size of 55 mil, and uh, the price for that is 48 pounds. Now, if you take the 20% off, it's going to be more like about £38, so pretty decent sort of designerish price and with the discount rather good. And the notes on this one are, of course, I guess pretty much the same as the original Bergamot, Iris, Ambroxan, Cachalox, Pink Pepper, Peridisone, Musk and Intense Modern Wood Accord. So in the case of both fragrances, we're talking about a very soapy, um, kind of masculine, modern, fresh fragrance. A lot of Ambroxan that we get in Dior's, uh, Dior Sauvage and similarities with the smell of Bleu de Chanel maybe. A little bit of an Aventus vibe because it's a very piercing, sharp opening that, that both those fragrances share. Um, I've tried them a fair bit. They're very, very close to being identical. Performance on both is very strong. Office for Men is very, very strong and powerful, which does call into question whether it's the best fragrance to wear to the office, but if you go easy on the trigger, I guess it could be good. Likewise, Boardroom, very, very long lasting, very good projection, very good performance. Very hard to really, I, 
there must be differences. It's probably in the 95% similar kind of reason, region. There's In the air, really, really hard to tell these two apart. I would say that the Office for Men is probably not that hard to clone because it, and I don't mean this as a really harsh criticism, but it, it smells not like there's tons of naturals in there. There's quite a lot of aroma chemicals, which I think you can easily pinpoint in a machine and reproduce and then maybe sell at a lower cost. So, of course, people may say, well, how would you like it? Because I've got my own fragrance, Gravitas Pour Homme, coming out very soon. The Kickstarter campaign nearly over. Now we've smashed through our total uh, that we had to hit, but you can check that out in the link uh, in the description below. Buy one before it, um, the price goes up, maybe, just slightly, if we have to sell it on a website afterwards. How would I feel then if they cloned that, if any fragrance house such as Alexandria cloned my fragrance? Uh, first of all, flattered, because you're, you're obviously doing something right. Imitation is the greatest form of flattery. Maybe I'd be a bit concerned too then that people might buy it instead and you know my fragrance therefore wouldn't be a success. So I can understand the arguments against. In the case of mine, the price is relatively low. So the argument for making a sort of cheaper version, the kind of prices Alexandria do, the, the price per mil wouldn't be that easy to beat. So I, I, don't, I guess it might not happen that anyone would want to clone that. But I don't, interesting debate that one, isn't it? Moving on then. Basically, yes, if you like Office for Men, because you've you maybe you've tried a sample, you really like the smell, but you're not that bothered to own the original, you don't need to have the original bottle, Boardroom will get you pretty much the same smell, pretty much the same great performance, and your outlay is going to be a lot less money. So if you want to just get compliments, smell fresh and modern like Jeremy Fragrance, it will work. It will do the trick for you. Cheeky as heck of them to do it, but hey, they're allowed. Moving on then, uh, we've got two others that are real crackers, and I'm going to get quite excited, I think. Let's go with the first one. This is an original release, and it's called Dapper. 1959, so the creation of their head perfumer, head of house, Hani Hafez, an Egyptian gen gentleman over in the USA. Again, lovely packaging on this, and I've got the 30 mil size of this one. So as the name suggests, Dapper 1959, it's a sort of a gentlemanly, slightly old school fragrance. The, you can get this actually in the 30 mil size, which I think is 33 pounds 80, or your 55 mil uh, size is 52 pounds in the USA roughly equivalent prices for those two sizes. Uh, the notes on this one, shouldn't have thrown that away, we have a Sicilian citrus talc, as in talcum powder, I like that, black leather, verbena, musk, patchouli, pepper, and star anise. So it's right up my street. The website in the USA, I think, describes it as just like stepping out of an Italian barber shop in 1959, which is something I wish I'd had the chance to do. It's really, really nice, uh, actually kind of spicy, powdery, combination. Uh, definitely, if you like things like Rive Gauche Pour Homme from Yves Saint Laurent, it doesn't actually massively smell like that, but it's this, it gives that same kind of well-presented, old-school, slightly dad smell, but, but not in a sort of hairy chest, annoying way, but in a sort of uh, soapy, old-school, dapper, gentleman type of vibe. It is very, very powdery. The texture is powdery, and it, it does remind me of the, the feel of a really nice talcum powder if if you had that on your skin and you just you maybe you just come out of the barbers and they've they dabbed that on you but they had a very expensive talcum powder it's a bit of that vibe or a lovely shaving foam the star anise is a very popular note in barbershop style scents it's in Rive Gauche Pour Homme it's in Azaro Pour Homme and you just get a little bit of that sort of that very distinguished this distinctive rather undertone of a sort of licorice-esque smell not an awful lot of citrus uh, if you like things like Fougère Royale, one of my favourites, uh, Fougère Nobile from Nobile 1942, really good alternative to that one. And there's quite a cult following for the original creations of Hani Hafez, his Hafez 1984, 1984 Intense, and Hafez Gold ones are really popular. And this one stands right up alongside them as a really, really nice fragrance for those who, like me, enjoy a barbershop for a fragrance. I have a ridiculously oversized collection of barbershop scents, and this will take its rightful place amongst them. Nice performance, understated in projection, decent longevity. Actually, I think this would be a perfect work or office scent, and I would way prefer it to office or any clone. That's a, you know my humble opinion. Last but not least, then, it's a seasonally inappropriate fragrance, and this one is called Dirty Orange. Same kind of lovely presentation. Dirty Orange, then. Any guesses what this one might smell similar to? Well, it's Creed's. 
Neroli Sauvage, a lovely fragrance with a fantastic aroma from Creed. Very famous for having disappointing longevity and I must admit it's very subtle and you have to spray tons and it just doesn't seem to get noticed but if you dig in and you're wearing it yes it's beautiful and the opening is wonderful beautiful crisp uh, citrus fragrance what Alexandria have done here is they've solved that problem for you because we've got a note listing by the way of bergamot grapefruit neroli lemon of verbena and ambergris and I wore this yesterday and I literally just did two sprays under my shirt and it was annoying me all day it wasn't annoying me I'm joking but it, it was there it couldn't be ignored it kept coming through this lovely lovely crisp citrusy orange smell it's a tiny bit more obvious that it smells of oranges i think than neroli sauvage the original i guess you would probably got a much higher concentration of fragrance oil even if they had exactly the same formula that would then change the way you smelled it a bit apart from it just being stronger and lasting longer i think really really nice if you like neroli sauvage if you've tried it you want something similar but that's going to cost you a lot less and perform a lot better, then I do think this is a cracking fragrance. And with the 30ml at the price of £33.80 or 55ml for £52.50, minus the 20% discount if you hurry on over there today and use the code BLACK25, I would say you'd be snapping up an absolute beauty of a fresh, natural-smelling, vibrant, long-lasting citrus fragrance. So I totally approve of that one. So, three very interesting releases from the house of Alexandria Fragrances. Please let me know what you thought about that. I'm interested to hear your opinions. What do you think about someone cloning Office for Men? Should I be scared? Is someone going to copy Gravitas Pour Homme? A little beautiful aromatic fougere, by the way, by perfumer John Stephen. Uh, so, should I be worried? If, if Alexandria do it, I can't complain, can I? I? It will serve me right, and I bet they'll probably do a good job. But, the only way to have the real thing, of course is to buy Gravitas Prom. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're all well, and I will see you in the next video. Remember, whatever you're doing in life, let's project. Bye-bye.